sometimes it's important to have some company um, refer you so what you do is let them link to your website and the reason why you're doing that is to get more customer and more customer means revenue but how are you going to do that what kind of agreement do you need i'm going to discuss this in this video let's begin <laughs> Hi, welcome. My name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What intellectual property is, is copyright, trademark, and patent. If you want to know more about it, follow this channel. Otherwise, don't follow. It's that simple. So you can subscribe or you can don't. Or you don't subscribe. It's that simple. So let's talk about the agreement. Like I said at the beginning, what you need is, this is the situation. You have a website. And you want another big company that has a lot of traffic refer your website so you're gonna come here if you have the website and someone refer to you they can have their own terms and all the stuff but if they don't you need the agreement if they have their own terms and you're not sure about that feel free to contact me but what important is there ne there needs to be an agreement between those two so we have you let's call it a and we have B, that's the other company or the other person. They generate a lot of traffic and you want them to refer to you so you can get more customer, more revenue. The thing is, they are not doing it for free. And the important is what kind of business model do they have and how um, are you going to pay them and how are you going to get the revenue back? So how are you going to get your investment back? So um, what you need to realize is the following. If they have the terms and if you accept it, you have an agreement. So what's in the term is really important. But if they don't have an agreement, you can offer them your agreement. It's that simple. I'm going to give you an example of an uh, agreement that you can have. I'm not going to discuss everything in the agreement because we don't have time for that. I'm just going to show you some highlights of the agreement so you understand what kind of things you need to put in the agreement. So we're going to look at the agreement. So uh, this is the agreement. Yeah, you see, you cannot see the whole agreement. If you're a Patreon um, supporter, you can download the agreement. It's that simple. And you need to watch out because there are a lot of um, kind of supporter. So you need to be a special supporter. I'll put it on the Patreon website. And uh, when you are that, you can download the agreement. If you don't have access to the agreement, you can just contact us and one of my uh, people will send it to you. It's that simple. So what you need to remember is the following. Um, this is the website linking agreement. And... Uh, what really important is um, link graphic and position so where on the website do you want to have the link and I'm not going to discuss these terms okay? I'm just showing that you uh, some things that are really important and one of them is compensation so if you are paying the other person what are you paying them for and what kind of service are you getting in return that's really important so you can choose uh, one or two in this um, agreement and uh, let me explain this sometimes we have people that um, they refer to some company and in return they get a monthly fee it's that simple it can be 250 300 dollars doesn't matter and sometimes you have another um, business model and the business model is um, they keep track of how many customers they get through google analytics and based on that they're gonna get the revenue and how they are going to do that is the simple who analytics can track, uh, um, track who comes through your website and where and uh, based on that they um how do you call it they um they look at the order that they're placed by the person let me give me an example if i come to the website and i buy something they're going to look at the referral link and the referral link see oh he comes from company x company x will get a revenue of that it's that simple so uh, kind of um, companies that are using that are uh, you have let's say wise stock black box um, even shorter stock is using that most of the time there are media companies that are using that because they can track where the customer is coming from and based on that they're going to offer you revenue so revenue they're going to offer you commission sorry about that so uh, that's compensation 
you need to remember what kind of conversation you're getting and how they're going to determine the conversation that's something that's really important for example if you are a short stock if i'm correct they are giving you if you're a first one three percent or two percent or something and uh white stock i know for sure they are doing for three percent and black box is doing it for one percent and the thing is it's forever so that means that some company are saying okay you are referral if you bring a referral for two years you will get this percent if you some company are saying help oh, if you refer someone you will get always one percent of what they sell or what they buy you understand what i mean so it depends what kind of uh, appointment or what kind of agreement you have with the person so what's really important is what do you have in the terms what do you have in your agreement in a contract yeah so um, if i talk about contract agreement it's the same but if you look at the terms it's not the same because a contract is a contract and an agreement is an agreement that you agree in a contract yeah so let's look at that and um what's really important is with this um when you have a link of other website on your website you can follow that means that you need to make sure that other companies don't see you as one company the reason why i'm saying that is because when someone goes down and other companies see you as one company you also go down you understand what i mean so what you need to make sure is when you refer to someone make sure that this is an uh, independent company and put that even in your contract if you don't do that you can have a problem when it goes wrong so watch out for that and um these are simple things but put it in a contract even intellectual property make sure that both parties will keep their intellectual, um, intellectual property and if something goes wrong you still have your intellectual property as a company you understand what i mean you're not giving anyone license that can damage your trademark for example so uh these kind of things um like i said i'm not going to discuss everything with you and um what um another thing that i wanted to discuss is as you refer to someone you're giving them permission to use your picture logo and other stuff really nice but make sure you put it in a contract because most of the contract i see they don't have permission to use the copyright or other stuff and this can bring a problem when something goes wrong they can be like hey you're using the logo you're using the picture where when did you get the permission to use that and then you're fucked sorry for that word but then you have a problem so um that's these kind of things so watch out for it if you have question about this kind of um, agreement or if you have question about this situation feel free to contact me if you want this agreement if you want to use this agreement you have to go to patreon become a supporter you have to become a special supporter watch the um read the terms on patreon really good and then you can download it if you have other questions feel free to contact us on twitter or anything and i will see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.